Bobby, what you where you get all that hair from, girl? Girl, you just took all those braids out. Let's see, Bobby. Oh my God, Bobby. You can't even fit through the door frame, bro. I gotta wash it though. So after I wash it, I'm gonna be like this long. Are you gonna, oh my God. Cause my shrinkage is so bad. That's a lot of hair, Bobby. People don't know, like, I have this much hair. They don't think I'm bald headed. <laughs> <laughs> but. Why do like, you say that? Why? Because I never wear my hair, like, out of braids. Because I just don't have, like, a curl pattern, so. Um, like. You do have a curl pattern. Your curl pattern is a tight, tight coil. Well, you know what I mean. Mm hmm. Girl, that's a lot of hair, but the shrinkage is real, honey. It's so you need funny. a good shampoo. I'll be embarrassed. <laughs> I'll be embarrassed. Y'all ain't gonna get to see that. Y'all ain't gonna get to see that. <laughs> but yes, I can wash it so you can start to braid it again. Uh huh. Because Miss has work tomorrow, so gotta get going. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing, Bob? Oh, Bob, you don't got your new hairstyle. <laughs> you, you playing with hairstyles, Bobby? That's some long hair. Let me see how long it comes down on the sides, Bobby. It goes longer. You gotta get that good little. I can tell when it's wet. Don't be holding your head, neck down. That doesn't count. <laughs> I'm gonna wash it though. I'm dirty. So you got, you wanna do a good conditioner. You got another condi deep conditioning back and you probably wanna sit under the dryer. You think I'm time for that? You need a good condition. Yeah. And I put have... some oil, some oil up in there. Yeah, I have another deep conditioning packet. And you want to put some oil on it as well. There's a coconut oil packet. Oh, okay, put some coconut oil on there too. And then get your little trash bag and put it on your head and sit under the dryer for 15 to 20 minutes. I was under the dryer for 45 minutes last time. I didn't even know. Um, 20 minutes is good. 20, 30 minutes is good. Okay. You want to trim or no? Did we trim it last time? Oh, so you don't need another one. I don't mind. You're like, it doesn't matter. I don't need one, I don't need one. Uh, maybe next time we'll do a trim. Oh my gosh. Say hi, Sydney. <laughs> Say hi, Sydney. Hi. What did you discover today? You discovered a new store? Mm-hmm. It's called Vibe Below. Is it's this the one? Mm -hmm. So, what did you like about it? Tell us about your experience. What did they have there? Like, it's like, like, what store would you compare it to? Probably Dollar. Somebody's Tree. in my fridge. Somebody went in my fridge. Did you wipe the lid? No, I wiped them all before I put them in there. Oh, do you really? Uh huh. So tell us, Sydney, what happened, girl? Like an expensive Dollar Tree. Yeah, but the stuff in there was nicer. Kind of like a big lot. Have you ever been in there? Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. Are you ready for school, Sydney? Mm, no. I know I'm looking rough, y'all. I'm in my bed. Don't don't judge me. I've been in here editing all day. <laughs> um. I was trying to look at my watch. It is 1.49. I have not left my bed. PM. I go back to school tomorrow. And I have to do some trainings. Probably like 30 plus hours. Honestly, I could probably use some of my time today. But I refuse to do it. 
they want me to do this training I may have to do it at school and I'm gonna tell you why this is my last day of my time and I'm going to do Bobby's hair we won't be done with her hair probably until tonight and typically when I do her hair, we watch movies together. It's like our bonding time. Ooh, we do bond when we do it. We're watching movies together, laughing, talking. And this is going to be my last date to do that. Do I want to use this time watching some uh, virtual training videos? Um, I have until August 11th to complete them. Or do I want to spend that quality time with my daughter? Do I feel like doing her hair? No. No. But it has to be done. I have to be at work by 8 o'clock in the morning, wearing a mask all day, going to a classroom that's, oh my gosh, it is still a zoo. If you haven't seen me seeing my classroom after the maintenance, move my stuff from one classroom to the next. I'm so overwhelmed, it's not even funny. So this is how I'm going to use my last day. I'm going to use my last day spending time with my kids well Sydney's about to hit the street again she she never stays home spending time with Bobby watching movies and enjoying these last moments I know I have to get gas at some point today and probably just get some eggs and milk whatever else they gotta make do with what we have here it is what it is. Sometimes when you low on food, you that's when you get real creative with what you choose to eat and stuff. That's what they're going to have to do. We got lunch meat. I'll get some bread, eggs, and milk. We have cheese. We have some lunch meat. And there's, there's waffles. There's pancake mix. There's rice. There's meat in the freezer. Defrost some stuff. <laughs> All right, so let me finish this edit. So I'm trying to get my edit ready for the next two days. I'm trying to be a little more proactive. I have a lot of editing to do. And it's like the editing takes a long time and the uploading can take hours and hours. So with that said, let's, let me get going on her hair. Well, when she's ready, she's gonna shampoo and stuff. So I feel as though I have about another hour to edit. And then I wanna, I will print out all the um, videos that I have to complete. So I wanna print out my list. And then when we have um, time at school, that's when I'll do the videos. But mm, I'm not giving up my last day um, for that. I know a lot of people have, but I have a life outside of school too. I have a life at school, I have a life out of school. And sometimes as a teacher, it's hard to separate the two. So I'm, making my decision to separate the two even if I have to stay at school a little later here and there um you know they don't want us visiting each other hanging out in classrooms and stuff so I still have a whole classroom to put together one day at a time I didn't even put anything on my teacher's wish list I may not put anything on a wish list I'll see if there are things I need, but guys, I think, mm -mm, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I have another video that I'm going to do. I created this video last year, and that's when I was told not to make any other videos or the videos need to be monitored because uh, so on and so forth. And it just killed something in my spirit. You know, I don't, you shouldn't allow somebody to rob you of your joy. But I think this time I was robbed of my joy. Don't worry, I'll get it back, but I just have to find a different platform and I may not be able to do it until next year. I have to figure out a way to, to, to bring my characters and so on and so forth. I can feel myself running my mouth, but I am gonna still produce that video. I created two videos last year. I think they're phenomenal videos. I think it really says a lot about me as a teacher, my energy, what I give to my kids. I think it's a powerful video. Hopefully other teachers can learn from it and, and get inspired by it and not get knocked down like I was. So anyway, it is what it is. I know I'm looking kind of busted, y'all. 
I colored my hair. I need to redo the front of my hair, but I'm not in the mood. My focus will be Bobby, and that's what I'll do. But once I have my hair down, it's not as bad. But, honey, I had to color those grays, child. Yes, I did, but this is kind of, you know, that you put your little gel and stuff. You put your little gel and be cute. And be cute, okay? Cute, cute. <laughs> Look, and be cute, cute. I'll be waking up cute. I got work at that, honey. Okay? This is how I woke up like this, boo. Mm -hmm. Cheekbones on fleek. <laughs> now, that was not cute. 